Valves are being closed. Handoff. Handoff to Atlantis has occurred from the ground launch sequencer. Twenty. Nozzle check of the SRBs. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system armed. T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. Liftoff of Space Shuttle of Lights, a final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, Scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way. on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins, as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis, Houston, no action on the MPS H2 out P. Houston, we copy, no action. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Houston, Atlantis copies, go at throttle up. Seven miles in altitude. Altitude 49,000 feet. Flight control team discussing the minor transients that were seen at liftoff. All three engines are in good shape. The vehicle is uh, headed downrange. All three hydraulic systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is 18 miles uh, and altitude, downrange 23 miles, already traveling 2,500 miles per hour, approaching staging the burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters, which have been burning fuel at a rate of about 11,000 pounds per second. Solid rocket boosters have done their job. Atlantis is uh, continuing in its due easterly course to catch up with the Hubble Space Telescope one last time. Altitude 35 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 51 miles. Altitude uh, 195,000 feet. Atlantis is traveling 3,300 miles per hour. Again, all three main engines are in good shape as are the uh, hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units, and the fuel cells. No issues uh, heading to orbit. Atlantis, two engine Maroon. Houston, Atlantis copies, two engine Maroon. Three minutes into the flight, Atlantis. The P2 out P is a deucer only, and the ASA 1 is a power only. Copy, ASA 1 power only. Approaching four minutes into the flight. 